Hi, I'm Elise, and today I'm going to take you through a basic tour of BDOC's Timeline 3D. Before I jump in, I'm going to talk a little bit about different graphs and how a timeline chart works in comparison. And then I'm going to walk you through how to create your own timeline chart. Everything I'm going to demonstrate in this video can be accomplished using our free Timeline 3D demo, which is available on our website. You probably use graphs all the time in order to simplify complex information. For example, here is a set of numbers that represents the largest stock market crash in history on Black Monday in 1987. I know that for me it can be hard to understand what's going on here until I see it in a graph. Here's one I created using Microsoft Excel. Here's another set of numbers representing the growth of ethnic diversity in North America. And here's the same information displayed on a pie chart that I created using Apple's Keynote software. Now this is a list that I found on Wikipedia that show the greatest inventions in the 20th century since sliced bread. With the timeline, you get a sense of the story and you can begin to draw connections and comparisons between the different events. Now I'm gonna show you how I created this timeline using BDOC's Timeline 3D. I'm gonna start from the very beginning. First, I downloaded BDOC's Timeline 3D from our website, bdocs.com. BDOC's Timeline 3D requires Mac OS X Leopard. If you bought your Mac within the last two years, you're probably running Leopard. But if you're not, you can go to your local Apple store and they'll help you get up to date. After I've installed the software, I'm going to open up BDOC's Timeline 3D and select a look for my timeline. The looks are color combinations that will serve as the background for your timeline. I can always change my look later if I want to, but for now I'm going to select Earthy. BDOC's Timeline 3D supports many different date formats, including BC and international dates. You can also select a time for your event, even down to the second the event occurred. The events in this particular timeline will only show the year the item was invented, so I'm going to select the Dates tab in the Settings panel and choose a date format that only displays the year. Now I'm going to add the first historical event by going to the top of the chart screen and clicking the Add button. You can also add events by using the keyboard command, Command E. When you add an event, the light blue edit box will pop up. This is where you can add information for each event. Every event needs to have at least a label and a start date. You can add an end date if that's necessary, but you don't have to. Now I'm going to add a couple more events to my timeline. I can also drag an image into the image field. You can click on the photos button if you want to get photos in from your iPhoto library, but you can also drag images in from any Mac application like Safari. To add notes to an event, I'm going to click on an event and put my notes in the notes field of the event box. In order to keep my timeline uncluttered, I'm not adding events and images to every single event. I'm only adding them when they're really, really necessary. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about how you can customize the display of your timeline to add interest and clarity. 
Sometimes in complicated timelines, it's very helpful to color code related events. I'm going to choose a unique color for the events in each decade so that I can connect them visually. First, I will select a group of events by dragging a box around them or using shift click. Then I will choose the visual design tab in the settings panel and click the color field labeled event text. Now I can pick a new color for the selected events. I'll adjust the image and font size so that my events fit together nicely. And this will keep my timeline concise. Once my timeline is finished, I can look at it in 3D by clicking the 3D button above my timeline chart. To navigate in 3D mode, I press the spacebar to get perspective and use the right and left arrow keys to move through my timeline. The 3D feature allows you and the viewer to zoom in on a specific event without losing sight of the surrounding events, helping to keep the larger connections present while focusing on the details of the timeline. Now you have everything you need to create your first timeline. If you need more information, you can go to our help page or our movies page at bdocs.com, or you can send me any questions at elise at bdocs.com. I really like to share customers' timelines on my Twitter feed and on our blog, so if you've created a timeline that you're excited about, send it my way.